Hey everybody, this is Timothy again with another video. I know I said it all the time, but uh, you know I gotta make a little small introduction. But I'm doing this video because there has been a lot going on the suicides of the LGBT community down to the fight the everyday fight of HIV AIDS, the everyday fight of breast cancer, other illness and things like that. And as I look upon my life, I know that I've been blessed. I know that I could have been dead a long time ago and It's a reason why I'm here, and I thank God every day. You know, I, I may not go to church like I'm supposed to. I may not pray like, I, like I'm supposed to, but just saying, God, I thank you, really says a lot. But to get to what I want to say is that we all have a battle that we must endure to get somewhere. There's a battle that we must fight until the end. Whether you're dealing with HIV, whether you're dealing with breast cancer, cancer or self, other illness, you can get through it. I know I'm 23. I know that I'm young. I know that I really haven't fully experienced what it is to be in a situation where my life May come, might come, may come to an end. I've been positive for three and a half years now, and I really wasn't that sick. Never was hospitalized, let's put it like that. But every day I, I think about it, and I think about those who help pave the way, you know, to people being more open and honest about their HIV status. It, it, really it takes a toll on me and I thank them I thank everyone every day who have paid that way to help me open up about my situation and to help those not to fall in my footsteps nor in every in the ones who are infected with HIV in their footsteps as well. Like I told you before in my previous blogs I don't do this for publicity, I do it because it's, it is put up, it's put upon my heart. It's put upon, you know, that there is a need within various communities. There may be a, a community where it, where some people just may talk about, but to look at it as a whole, everybody is infected. Everybody is affected. You know, we have to think about that. And all I just want to say is that keep on pushing until it's the end. Keep on pushing. Keep on talking. Keep on paving the way. Keep paving the way for everyone else. Keep talking for the ones who are not very comfortable about talking about the HIV status. Be a voice. Be that one who would just let people know that it's okay. You know, it's it's not okay that everyone is getting affected every day with HIV. And to think about it, just by me saying HIV, a person is being told that they're positive. Or someone know that they're positive and don't want to go into the clinic and get their test results because they don't want to be told that this told something that will stay with them for the rest of their lives for right now until hopefully they'll find a cure. It's been a lot of controversy about DL men infecting women. I really didn't see the episode on Oprah. Well, with Oprah, how 
how she was, um, she had the HIV positive women on there, and it was something. I have to check for it next time it comes on. But it's, I'm telling you right here and right now, it's not all the men. It's not all the ill men who is infecting women. It's all of us as a whole. You have to think about it. You don't have to be a hoe. You don't have to be a whore. You don't have to be, um, um, uh, just in other words, Everyone as a whole, male, female, is only two. Is only two sex, male, female, that can get HIV, get it through intravenous, meaning uh, injecting dirty needles, sharing needles, having multiple partners. Back in the day when they wasn't testing the blood, when people donated their blood, they can get it that way. From someone who didn't know there was positive or knew there was positive. Babies are born with it. People have to wake up and think that they, they have to know, not think, but, but they have to know the different ways of HIV being contracted. Let's just put it, put it like that. Like, I've been in this field for almost three years. I've been in this field since, well, since the time I've been told I was positive, I've been in this field. So, and I still got way, way, way more to go, more experience to learn, and, you know, more things to talk about, obviously. But I just want to let you know, if you're positive, do something about it. Don't sit there and cause yourself to die. Don't do it. You have your whole life ahead of you. You may get sick here and there, but that's not the end. Don't get scared. Don't think as though it's a, a, a permanent setback because you can't overcome it. Don't let what the media, don't let what other people say about people having HIV tear you down. People's going to think what they want to think regardless, whether you're about your sexuality, HIV status, or whatever, how you dress, how you eat. They, people's going to think, anybody want to think about you or anybody else. So you have to be mindful that the only person who can live their life is you. The only person who goes to the doctor's appointment is you, unless you're bedridden or unless you're... Um, you need help getting to your appointments, you're still the one sitting in that office being told what the deal is, what you need to do, how your blood work is going, what are you improving on, what do you need to improve on, and things like that. Like I said, I may be young, but having HIV really has made me mature a lot. It has. It has stopped me in my tracks. Because, baby, when I tell you I was... I was headed for destruction. I really was. Headed for destruction. Many can attest to that. That are openly talking about it. I know it's a lot of things I'm talking about in one video. But whatever's coming to my mind, I'm just going to say it. You know, right here and there. You know, because someone needs to hear this. Someone needs to know that it's okay. It's, we made mistakes. You made a mistake. Do something about it. Don't cause yourself to die in, in, the, in the case of your own hands. Because HIV won't kill you. The only thing that is killing you is you. Do something about it. Don't give up the fight. Don't die before your time. We don't know when our time is up. But don't cause yourself to go faster than you, than what we're put on this earth to do, basically. And if I said that wrong, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, I just want to put that in people's hearts. I just want to put, put what I said in people's minds to know that we all got something we're battling with. 
keep on with the fight. Don't get discouraged. Even there are times I get discouraged, but you know what? I have to keep on going. I have a family that depends on me. I have I have so much that that you know I I, I still have to experience. I've got a way. I got more time to go. I'm not gonna let. The doctors, I'm not going to let HIV tell me when my life is going to end. It may end the second I upload this video. I don't know. But I just want to put that in your hearts to let you know that you can do it. You can come above. You can overcome your obstacle. There are things that we don't have cures for. But stick in it. Be a voice. Be that face. Be that person that can help pave the way for others who are not openly talking about their status or talking about their diagnosis. They're not talking about their sexuality. Be that one. Because, believe it or not, you're a lifesaver to them. You're a lifesaver to others. And you're a lifesaver to me. Because the more people I see talk about their life and their importance, it strengthens me to keep going. Besides my family and God. So. Thank you. And I know it's a long video. It was like 11 minutes and 38 seconds long. But just keep on going. And I hope what I said. Shines a light. On you. And you know. And, and have your mind going. And thinking about your life.